This is a short uh, demonstration on how to use the Atlas table columns function to update an existing record. What we're going to do is build a report and pull down some customers in that report and look to see what the sales pool field is set to. We're then going to change that sales pool value build a template, lay it on top of the document, and update the changes. So we'll start by selecting cell D4, and we'll go to the structured list function, which we covered in another presentation. And we are going to go look for the customers table. And the customers table is right here. I'm going to tick the customers table. We'll, check, we'll click the filters tab. And we're going to specify that we want to get pull down customer information for, for customers in group 10. So we'll type 10 in the criteria field. We'll go to the output tab and determine uh, exactly what kinds of fields that we want to show up in our report. So we're going to click the report columns node. Go to the Add Remove Fields button. That shows us all of the default fields that are currently there. And we're going to untick all of these fields except the customer account. We're then going to expand the green plus by the name field which links us to the global address book table. And within the global address book table we want the customer name as that's the way the AX table structure works. Click apply. So at this moment I've got customer account and name in my report. Okay. We also want one more field and that is the sales order pool. I can do a partial search from the primary table which is the customers table. I find the sales order pool table click apply click OK and I'm ready to run my report if I click insert I get a report of the customers in group 10 here they are and their sales order pool is blank what I want to do is update the sales order pool for these existing customers for starters, I'm going to take a little side trip and change the color. It makes it easier to read. This is the field I want to update it. I want to update it to the sales order pool, which is set up in AX as sales order pool number 10. So I'm going to key in 10 in all these records. Clean it up a little bit. There's sales order pool 10. That's the information I want to upload. So to make it happen, I need a template. I'm going to go to Atlas and in the upload group under the table style I'm going to choose the table columns function. Table columns lets me update information on an existing record. Okay, I'm going to choose the customers table as that's just the one I was using a minute ago. I'll choose the customers table. I'm going to set my filter to find customer account with the name of account num. I'm going to go to my output slash input tab and I'm going to set customer account equal account num currency I'm going to set that equal to a hard coded value of US dollars, USD. And I'm going to set the customer group to a hard coded value of 10. Okay. I'll take a look and see what else I'm interested in doing here. Um, I don't want the name and national registry that you see there. The name is a record ID, I believe, or perhaps a party ID. It's a party ID. Don't want that one. I don't want the national registry number, but I do want the sales pool ID. 
I want to upload sales pool information. Okay, the sales order pool is going to be mapped to the name range called sales pool ID. So I'm almost done, but as you've seen in other presentations and hopefully learned in other presentations, what we need is named ranges over in the name box that will correspond with these two names, account num and sales pool. So I'm going to right click D6, choose select table column data, type in the name box account num. I'm going to do the same thing in F6, right click, select table column data, type in sales pool ID, hit enter. And at this point in time, I should be able to run my upload. So I'm going to insert my template into the document, switch to standard mode, make sure my template's selected, and there it is. Click confirmation, click upload, and I've successfully updated. You see, I've got a record here, a count of 12. I've updated. 12 records. So if I go into AX for customer 1303 and see if I can find sales pool order pool 10. Customer 1303. So accounts receivable, all customers. And let's look for, that uh, was a little too fast there, 1303. There's customer 1303, and I'm looking for the sales pool, and uh, somewhere in here, sales, well, let me take a look from this perspective. Somewhere in here is sales pool. There's my sales order pool number 10. So that concludes this short presentation on how to change an existing record using the Atlas table columns template.